Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can easily split a PowerPoint presentation into separate slides using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. To demonstrate, I'm using a sample presentation with three slides that I'll turn into separate documents. Let's start off here on the Flow Diagram page with an instant cloud flow opened up. We can get here from the Power Automate homepage by clicking Create and then selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. Let's click New Step and start our flow off with a Get File Content action. I'll be using the OneDrive for Business iteration of that action for this demonstration. Once our file ID is displayed, we can go ahead and incorporate the Cloudmersive document conversion action. Let's click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of options below, let's select the document conversion connector with the green logo. If we've used this connector in the past, we'll jump straight to the actions list like I did. If it's our first time using this connector, we'll first have to name our connection and then provide an API key to authenticate our requests. We can get a free tier API key with a limit of 800 API calls per month and no additional commitment by creating a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Once we reach the actions list, let's search for an action called split a single PowerPoint presentation into separate slides. Once we find that action, let's go ahead and select it. Within this Actions Request body, let's click on the first field and select the dynamic content labeled File Content made available from our previous step. After that, we can give our file a random name with a PowerPoint extension. If we turn this into an automated flow later on, we can always use dynamic content labeled File Name for this field or enter an expression here to randomize the name next to our PowerPoint extension. If we want to return the file bytes for our resulting presentation documents, we can leave this bottom field blank, and if we want to only return URLs for each resulting document, we can set this to false instead. Let's now click New Step once again and set up a Create File action within the application connector we want to store our output files in. After we pick our folder path, we can use output content labeled slide number as the name for our resulting documents. Once we do that, Power Automate will automatically wrap our action in an apply to each control to account for multiple slide names and slide contents. It's also important to note that PowerPoint slides are counted on a zero-based index, so the first slide number will be zero, the second will be one, and so on. Within the file content field, let's select a dynamic content called presentation contents. This will enter slide contents for each new presentation document relative to the slide name. We can now save our flow. And once that wraps up, we can run our test. Once our test finishes running, let's head to our destination folder and check out the results. We should now have a new presentation document available relative to each slide in our original document. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Check back in on our channel in the future for more useful tips and demonstrations in Power Automate.